the, uh, the new GPS uh, system from Leica. And they call this the system uh, Viva. I do not know why. I think it's a fresh face uh, because this is the first device where the software was not only designed by uh, geodesists, but they actually hired people who do Google and Garmin and, and car uh, layouts to write the software and make it user friendly. So this is the first surveying tool that has user friendly software. Okay, so uh, we have two different pieces here, uh, and they, they name them uh, quite similar. This is called a GS15 for GPS and 15. Uh, it's just because they like the number 15. They have a, another instrument it's called a GS10. So this is the model up on that. And uh, the controller is called a CS10. And there's uh, two different versions of them. And this one's called a CS15. The only difference between these two uh, pieces of hardware, this one has a full QWERTY keyboard. This one does not. You know, this one has a couple of F keys here for the soft keys for the top screen. And this one, the screen is uh, uh, vertical, and this one's portrait. So, uh, that is the only difference. Uh, internally, they're exactly the same. Okay. Now you guys do have two of these controllers. Both of them work two separate GPS uh, and, uh, instruments. But one on the back says GPS and robotic, and the other one says GPS only. Okay. Now this one, this is a GPS and robotic. This has an internal radio that will connect to the toll station. So this one can be used for both. We use simultaneously. You click one button and you can jump between GPS and robotic. Okay. <coughs> Inside the data collector, actually we'll start from the bottom. On the bottom, we have this little rubber plate that will probably be lost in the next three weeks. It is a, uh, a little connector board here. And down here, we can. Uh, there's a docking station that we can insert the data collector into. And uh, it goes right into USB, it's active sync, and we're ready to go. There's also a large USB, uh, regular size, um, for using thumb drives or a USB cable. There's also a mini USB in here uh, that is, uh, you can use from your cameras or any other cell phone uh, connection in here so that you can get data in and out. And you also have a COM port cable. Okay. On the back here, we use the exact same batteries as the other instruments. It's the skinny type, lithium ion battery, okay? Nothing different there. Boy, well, they let their skimmer slip on that, didn't they? They sold new battery. Yeah. Down here, the reason why uh, the stylus that, that comes uh, on the top here has a uh, screwdriver on one end and a stylus on the other end. And they put the screwdriver here because they have two screws. And if you unscrew the top here, Carefully, it only takes a little twist. Don't you know, keep spinning it; it'll just pop out a spring-loaded. The top here, there's two different types of memory cards that exist: compact flash card, which are similar to the 1200, or the new SD card, the camera-style SD card. Um, I recommend using SD cards on these devices because you can't put them in them correctly and break all the pins. The compact flash card, if you force them the wrong way, you bent all the pins, you broke all the board, and it's a big, big expense. Okay. So not only uh, on this device can you actually load compact flash cards and SD cards, but they also have one gig of internal memory. So it can actually work without a card. So in, on the top and inside here, there's a board that's kind of spiraled all the way around. And that's for each frequency in each satellite. It has its own piece on the board. Okay? Uh, inside here, there's also uh, under this ring is a, an antenna for the, a radio, like a, a UHF radio. And there's a radio on the base station here at, at the college. Inside here is actually a radio. So it, it kind of slides in, slides out. You can have different types of devices in here. In here is where the batteries go. And once again, it's the same type of battery. Okay. There's a little tooth here, a little tooth on here, top on, top on, so the contacts face up. Right here. Okay. Now you can have two batteries running in here. Uh, it'll last you about six hours. Okay. Now the only thing you have to remember is to turn the antenna on. It doesn't turn on by itself, so it's just a press and hold. And you got to press it for a few seconds, and you'll see the lights come on the bottom. There's three green ones. 
And uh, when you turn it off, it's also got a press and hold, so you see a bunch of red lights. Um, the reason why it's a press and hold, they want it to turn on by itself in the truck. You put it in the truck, and you have a fully charged battery, you drive three hours, get to your job site, you pull it out, battery's dead. Very good. Okay? So once the power light is turned on, you can turn on the data collector. Now it is not important, it doesn't matter which order you turn them on in. They both just have to be on. Uh, when you turn on the antenna, you should hear an audible click. Uh, that's because inside there is actually one moving part, and that is uh, to tell the instrument, the antenna, which antenna is it using. There's two internal antennas. Down here is a CDMA antenna, and up here is a UHF. So if you have a cell phone in here, it uses the internal antenna inside here. So there's an audible click when the, the motor uh, switches between the two antennas. Okay. Another thing you should always remember to uh, loosen up the collar, bring the antenna all the way to the top. Okay, there's a little push pin here, and you lock it down. Okay, the reason being on these instruments is GPS does not measure to the point, just like a prism, it measures to right here. So if you're like over on this angle, you're now down here, and also the height. Okay, so it's also it's very important to keep it plumb and uh, uh, you're, you're locked in because the instrument is set to a two meter pole. This is two meters. I'm just going to hit the power button on the data collector, which is located right here. And it's also pressing hold. And it's going to take a minute for it to start up. 